Hello Internet, I'm Yoli May, and it's time for another episode of Ruby Chibi. This is episode 2. And as I should say with all of my reaction videos, please click the link in the description below or click here to go to the actual episode itself. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, then come back to watch this video. Okay. Good. Support the official release. Now, I... I still remember a few things that I saw in the cinema when I went to go and see Ruby Volume 1, as I mentioned in my reaction to Episode 1. There were a few things that I saw in the cinema that weren't in Episode 1, so they might show up in this episode, they might not, whatever. But I know from a post on Twitter and from the thumbnail, the, sorry, from the thumbnail, that we'll be seeing why this episode. So, let's see what happens. And I'm just going to shut up and hit play. Oh, it's uh, Lisa Lavender. <laughs> of course. Seriously, guys? Seriously, you're gonna call me a cat burglar just because I'm part cat? That's real mature. You know. I have half a mind to report you guys to Glinda. <laughs> what you're doing is profiling. It's true. You all disgust me. <laughs> See? No. Breaking news. Oh, whatever. Police have engaged the alleged cat burglar in a high-speed chase. <laughs> the suspect is seen on a yellow motorcycle with what appears to be a cartoonishly large amount of stolen goods <laughs> falling from the bike. <laughs> Okay, this I saw in the cinema. Only I don't think Blake and Yang were there when I saw it. This is the last time we invite her to the pool, right? Yep. Okay, no, it's a different scene, never mind. Really? What? Do you expect me to roll around on the floor and play with it? <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Oh, that's why. What do you do? Oh. Alright, that was... <laughs> that was a really good episode. A lot of Blake-focused stuff in this. And it all happened to be cat-related, too. Although, well, speaking of, there is one scene I was hoping that I could potentially see in, like, an episode of Ruby. But after Volume 3, that's not likely to happen. But, I don't know, maybe it could happen here. It's like, I don't know, I just wanted this scene where, like, it was morning, everyone was still asleep, but it shows, like, Blake waking up, and it shows the perspective, like, from her eyes opening, and there's Y right in front of her. I would just love to see how that plays out. Anyway, look forward to the next episode. And look forward to seeing what other wacky shenanigans everyone gets up to. Oh god, when Nora gets involved, that is going to be hilarious. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and sure, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you later. Bye.